close your eyes for a moment, just for a moment, and imagine the images that these words conjure up. Energy, oil, gas, indigenous, sustainability, pipelines. Now open your eyes. Did those seem like opposing viewpoints to you? Not to me. Fifteen years ago, I was a single mom, and I started on my journey towards engineering. I also found my birth family and began to learn and reconnect with my Indigenous roots. I am an Indigeneer. I'm committed to combining engineering principles with Indigenous respect for Mother Earth. I invite you to join me in a space where we can transcend opposing viewpoints. This space is mentoring. Did you know that Canada's Indigenous population is the fastest growing demographic in the country? Did you know that we're facing labor shortages in the future because of our retiring baby boomers? Just to give you an example, Engineers Canada expects 95,000 engineers to be retiring by 2020. And to compare that, over 35,000 engineers in Alberta, less than 100 have self-declared as Indigenous. There's still an educational gap with our Indigenous youth. They face challenges, poverty, community isolation, lack of role models. Many are still healing from the intergenerational effects of the residential school experience. But this is changing. There are some amazing mentoring programs out there that I've had the opportunity to get involved with. And it's with these programs I've met people like Grace. Grace is 11 years old, and she wants to be a hydrogeologist. And she won the chance to go to space camp in Huntsville, Alabama. Nikita from Yellowknife just graduated from petroleum engineering at SAIT and she's committed to sustainability and Aboriginal engagement. I've learned that you can teach the principles of geology and mining with a minimal uh, environmental impact using chocolate chip cookies to elementary students. Mentoring is all-inclusive. It transcends ages, genders, experiences, cultures, and industries. You don't need to be Aboriginal to mentor Indigenous youth. Until we increase our representation in the workforce, we need all the help we can get. We need you to get involved. And as an Indigenous mentor and mentee, I invite you to join us in mentoring our youth today. Thank you. Thank you.